All right, good morning traders. Today is October 14, 2024. My name is John Kerrigan. I moderate the BYOB Trading Room. Thank you for being here. Hey, my SPY pivot this morning, 477.70. Above it, I'm a bull. Below it, I'm a bear. All of the Fab Five in daily uptrends. SPY closed with a two-hour uptrend and a 10-minute downtrend. Right at the last minute, by the way. Uh, SPY, IWM, Diamond Dow, FNGU. All closed with higher highs and higher lows. Over their bullish traps and over the 17 EMA. QQQ did you know, almost as well, but it made an inside day. Closing over a bullish trap uh, over the 17 EMA just made an inside day as opposed to the others that all made higher highs. Uh, GLD, SLV, both in uptrends, both made higher highs and higher lows. Silver closed over a bullish trap but uh, and over uh, the 17 EMA. Gold closed over, excuse me, silver closed over a bearish trap but over the 17 EMA. Gold closed over a bullish trap over the 17 EMA. UNG in an uptrend made an inside day closing below. Uh, bearish trap under the 17. USO in an uptrend made an inside day closing above bullish trap over the 17 EMA. US dollar index in an uptrend. When are they going to turn this around? Close near the 102.92 area. All right, let's go take a look at some, some charts. Let me see. I'm a little confused here because down to one monitor. Let's try escape. Uh, here we got escape. No, that's not it. Hold on. I'll be right with you. There we go. All right. Here's the spy chart. All right. So here's uh, Friday's candle. Higher high, higher low. Closing on the daily chart. Closing over bullish trap. That's the three EMA on top of the eight EMA. Over the bullish trap. Over See the green dots? Rising 17 EMA right there, okay? So SPY all the way up to 580. Nice, nice work. I kind of said I have a feeling everything's looking good. We're going to 580. All right, so the next stop is 600, all right? There's a, there's a target up there around 604, 605. Anyways, it's a measured move target. Um, I still think we go much higher. Um, we'll see, all right? Let's just like follow follow the chart, okay? So far, we've got one, two, three, four, five green days in a row. Uh, again, I still think we get up to 600. I actually think we get uh, parabolic. I mean, maybe even go to 620, 650. I, I don't know, all right? But hey, we're at 580 today. That's, that's great. That's awesome. I'm still looking for 600. I may get it, might not. We'll see what happens, all right? So SPY, daily chart in an uptrend. Nice work there, okay? So uh, new all-time highs right there on SPY. That was Friday, new all-time highs. And this morning, look at this, already new all-time highs. So that's a new all-time high for SPY. Nice work. All right, so let's take a look at two-hour chart. Two-hour chart, here we got two-hour uptrend, price and the three EMA over the eight, okay, over the rising 17. Two-hour uptrend, all right, going into the close, all right. Ten-minute, oh, no, didn't want to do that, just do this. All right, ten-minute, all right, we were in a ten-minute uptrend going into the close. Uh, then they had a meltdown at the last minute, and we were in a ten-minute downtrend right there crossing underneath uh at, at closing time okay but here we are back again up over the highs all right so that's beautiful so 10 minutes so spy in an uptrend looking good uh again my spy pivot this morning we're going to be right about here right on top of these two minor support areas right there okay so underneath that i'm a bear above that i'm a bull all right, where are we going today? Again, uh, higher. I think we go higher. All right, we've got five five green days in a row. Well, we got four green days in a row. Am I right? Let me check this out. Just a second here. Yeah, one, two, three, four green days. We don't know about today because we're still working on it, but it's already started out to be green. So I'm looking for more green days. All right, more green candles going to the upside or at least 
uh, higher highs and higher lows, all right? Targets for today, just keep going. 590, 592, uh, maybe 600. Could be a big day. We'll see what happens. Let's see how, we'll have to see what's on the uh, economic schedule. All right, so there's the daily chart for SPY. Let's take a look at QQQ. All right, QQQ. Uh, doing an inside day, higher, uh, lower high, higher low, closing over the bullish trap, over the rising 17 EMA, okay, QQQ. Uh, not quite as uh, dominant as SPY, because SPY, uh, SPY was making new all-time highs, where QQQ is not. But QQQ still in an uptrend, higher lows, higher highs. Made a higher low, we'll see if they can produce a higher high. All right, so still in an uptrend for QQQ. Same with SPY, we'll hit back to that. Okay, making higher lows and higher highs. Actually making new all-time highs. So that's, you know, uptrend there. So let's take a look at FNGU. All right, FNGU finally did the deal. It gave us that higher high. Look at that beautiful thing. I knew it was coming. Kind of felt like it. I didn't know it was coming. It felt like it was going to come. Anyways, higher lows. And what do we got? Higher highs. That's an uptrend. FNGU in a daily uptrend right there. Okay, let's see if FNGU can come back up here. Let's just see if FNGU gets all the way back up to here. 562.98. SPY could get to 600. I, I really think so. If, you know, if FNGU could pop up there to uh, 560, challenge that uh, all-time high up there. Again, price action up over the all-time high anchored VWAP. That's bullish. Making higher highs and higher lows. That's bullish. Uh, everything looking really good on FNGU. Four green days in a row. That's bullish. Uh, you know, Again, price action in an uptrend over the all-time high anchored VWAP. That's bullish. QQQ. Look at that in the same manner. All right. Again, up over the all-time high anchored VWAP. All right. In an uptrend, that's bullish. All right, uh, making higher, excuse me, higher highs and higher lows. That's bullish. Everything looking good here for the market for QQQ, SPY, and FNGU. All right, so that's looking good. Diamond Dow. All right, Diamond Dow. Guess what? Friday put in another new all-time high for Diamond Dow. Yeah, on Friday. All right, I keep saying yesterday. I really mean Friday. Okay. A uh, long weekend for me, okay? So Diamond Dow, higher high, higher low, closing over the bullish trap, over the 17 EMA, all right? Up over the prior all-time high anchored VWAP. You know what? Let's just move this up to here, all right? All right, as long as we got an uptrend over this all-time high anchored VWAP, we're in an uptrend, all right? We're bullish, okay? Making higher lows and higher highs. That's bullish, Diamond Dow. IWM, all right, IWM making higher lows and higher highs. Here's the 2024 all-time high. I think we can beat that. I really do. I, I think we can beat that uh, before the end of the year, all right? It's getting, uh, we're running out of time, all right? If you're listening, IWM, okay, we're running out of time, but I think we can do better than this, all right? Anyways, back to uh, uh, the, te the um, technical analysis here. Higher low, higher high. Closing over the bullish trap. Over, you know, uh, price action up over uh, the 17. Okay, so here's the bullish trap. Higher high, higher low. Closing over the bullish trap. Over the 17 EMA. Price action uh, in an uptrend. Not a really big uptrend. I mean, we only had like uh, 20 days of melting off there. Okay, so price action is in a little uptrend over uh, the all-time high anchor VWAP. That's bullish. Consolidation over prior consolidation. That's bullish. Everything looking good. All right. All of the Fab Five in uptrends. All of them acting very, very bullish. All right. Everything is looking good for the markets. All right. So it's... Love that. All right, let's go take a look at our technicals. T2122. Oh, look at this. We're back in the overbought zone. All right, so huge 
jump. We could stay up here for two or three days. Just saying, just because we got here doesn't mean we get rejected and go lower. We can hang out here, you know, for maybe even a week. We'll see what happens. T21, 22 in the overbought zone. Super, super bullish. Love that, okay? We just, like, zipped out of the uh, the seller's chop zone right into the buy zone. Uh, through the buy zone right into the overbought zone. T21, 23. Oh, my gosh. New all-time highs for T21-23. Uh, they just keep pushing it higher and higher. Love that. Move up. Consolidation over prior consolidation. Love that. Moving up, holding the higher ground. Okay, that's bullish. Uh, everything looking good. Bouncing off. Look at that 200 SMA. They pulled back, made contact with that, and then just ripped. Nice bounce off that 200 SMA. And that's something you can see kind of often, all right, is that 200 SMA bounce or the catch, all right? Look for the catch and the bounce, all right? So there's uh, T2123, 15-minute chart. Now, three bars chart's going to look qu quite similar. Again, three more green candle bars on the... On the three bar chart, got the 200 SMA rising up uh, in between the two uh, all time high, uh, prior all time highs right here. This one and this one. So it's looking good. We can actually remove this and remove that and remove that. We don't need this anymore. Okay. So we're going to see price action move up. Uh, I got to say, I think 200 SMA winds up going through those up into this area right here again price action moving up holding the higher ground love it all right still in an uptrend and doing the same thing again on friday all right moving up holding the higher ground consolidating over prior consolidation so uh i love that so price looking pretty good there t2123 here's my drawing tools get a little Box action right here. Box action. Again, consolidation over prior consolidation. Love it. That's very bullish. I like that. All right. So let's go take a look at uh, FNGU. All right. FNGU do a nice performance on Friday. Okay. You can see right here a little green, a little red, a little green, uh, making a higher high. All right. We've been waiting for this. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Okay. See, so there's the high. Uh, couldn't quite do it here. See that? Couldn't quite get it done. And there we go on um, yesterday, Friday. Nice action on FNGU. Okay, wherever this goes, it's going to jerk the market with it. As this goes higher, it will jerk the market higher. All right, so there's FNGU moving up and consolidating. Okay, so move up. See, like that's what we like to see is, you know, price action to move up. Well, a little bit thicker. Okay, move up and then hold that higher ground. All right, that's what we like. So there's FNGU. All right, consolidation over prior consolidation, also bullish. Okay, so that's looking great. All right, let's go take a look at, um, let's take a look at precious metals. All right, so let's go to silver first. Silver still in an uptrend. Okay, up over that prior all-time high anchored VWAP. Okay, uh, actually we can probably move this, we can delete that, but we can drag this up to there, because that's the prior all-time high. Uh, price action kind of fall, fading there. All right, still making higher lows and higher highs. Uh, just need price to stay up here over the all-time high anchor VWAP, or the 2024 high anchor VWAP. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, we're not at an all-time high. We're just here at um, a three-year high. All right, so uh, anytime we've got an uptrend over this uh, pink line, that's really bullish. Uh, we're still bullish here. Price making higher lows and higher highs. Silver's still bullish. So things looking good for silver. Uh, like to see it consolidate over this consolidation. So 
uh, consolidate right through here, kind of sloppy and big over this consolidation right here and this consolidation right here. Okay, like to see it consolidate up over that, all right? So, so far we're bullish. This is looking good. Silver, uh, not, not looking great, just looking good. All right, let's take a look at gold. All right, gold is bullish, moving up, holding the higher ground. Uh, price action for uh, Friday, uh, higher low, higher high, closing over the bullish trap over the 17 EMA, okay? That's bullish there, okay? Notice that. Uh, bears tried to sell it off. Bulls bought it right back up. Same thing. Silver, all right? See that? Bears tried to sell it off. Bulls bought it right back up. Uh, again, silver, higher low, higher high, closing over uh, a bearish trap uh, and over the 17 EMA, all right? Let's go take a look at energy. Start off with USO. Here's USO. Price action for Friday's this inside day a little doji candle here okay high, lower high higher low closing over the bullish trap over the rising 17 ema uh uso in an uptrend making higher lows and higher highs okay still in an uptrend okay so there's uso let's take a look at ung ung still in an uptrend till it breaks this low right down here okay UNG price action yesterday, low uh, Friday, lower high, low uh, inside day, lower high, higher low closing under the bearish trap under the 17 EMA, still in an uptrend, just doesn't know it. It's been melting off for one, two, three, four, five, six days now, okay? Uh, it's in an uptrend, just doesn't seem to know it though, but uh, UNG still making higher highs, higher lows. That's an uptrend until it breaks this low. All right, it's got, this is what happens when you don't put in consolidation. Now, there should be some consolidation right through here. Okay. If it gets below this area right, right here, all right, uh, below 13.95, I don't know. I, I don't think I want to be holding it any longer underneath that. All right. So there's UNG still in an uptrend, just doesn't know it. All right. So let's take a look at uh, Amazon. Got some Amazon. Amazon doing well. All right. Making a higher low, looking for the higher high back up to 189. Amazon looking good. I think Amazon goes to 200, actually goes to 250. I think Amazon gets way up to 250 uh, this uh, th this year. We'll see what happens, though. There's Amazon. All right, let's take a look at uh, the economics package. All right, let's pull up the economics package. We'll start off here with the economic calendar. Today's Monday. Nothing's happening. Just some Fed speakers, but none of them are Mr. Powell. Tomorrow, we've got Empire State Manufacturing Index, 830, uh, Treasury Buyback Announcement, 11, some Fed speakers, but not Mr. Powell. Wednesday, uh, M I MBA Mortgage Applications at 7, Import Export Prices, 830, uh, another Treasury Buyback Announcement, Treasury Buyback Results, uh, Thursday, uh, jobless claims, retail sales, Philly Fed Manufacturing Index, all at 8.30, industrial production, 9.15, uh, business inventories, 10, housing market index, 10, a gas report at 10.30, a petroleum status report at 11. That's usually, that gas report's usually on Wednesday. Uh, and nothing really, really light week, non-eventful week, really. Okay, so there's nothing here to squash the bull's momentum other than earnings. I'm just saying, like, we could see a whole week of upside unless the bulls just want to hand the baton over to the bears. It's looking really good. There's nothing here this week that says, 
uh, they can squash the market. Uh, Mr. Powell's not speaking. Uh, there's no economic data that's coming out to crush it. The only thing that could probably crush it is earnings. All right, and if earnings come in good, or the outlook's come in good, that's great, all right? So uh, max pain for today is 578, and we got two puts to every call. 578 is uh, for all the calls and puts that expire today. So that's two puts for every call. Could see a short squeeze. Again, some more movement to the upside. Uh, on earnings calendar, what do we got today? Um, nothing that's going to move the markets today, all right? Uh, maybe a familiar name, just one. Uh, what do we got here? All right, so uh, United Health, UNH, uh, is going to report uh, tomorrow in the morning uh, only about 550, half a trillion dollars. Uh, Johnson & Johnson is going to report tomorrow morning as well. That's about $386 billion. Bank of America, $310 billion. Goldman Sachs, $159 billion. Schwab, $121 billion. Citigroup, $121 billion. Uh, Rio Tinto, $83 billion. Whole lot of market cap coming out tomorrow. Nothing, nothing really today. Uh, all of this could impact the markets. Okay, Wednesday, what do we got? Uh, American uh, ASML, uh, $328 billion. They're going to report on Wednesday. Abbott Labs, $201 billion. They're going to report on Wednesday. Prologis, $108 billion. They're going to report on Wednesday. Thursday, Taiwan Semiconductor. Can't even see that. Is that a nine? Looks like nine hundred sixty-three billion dollars, almost a trillion dollars. They're going to report on Thursday morning. Netflix three hundred thirteen billion. They're going to report Thursday morning. Morgan Stanley one hundred seventy-four billion dollars. Uh, into uh, Intuitive Surgical, they're going to report one hundred seventy-one billion dollars. Uh, Elevens Health, 114 billion. So a lot of market cap reporting uh, Tuesday morning as well as throughout the rest of the week. Procter and Gamble is going to report on Friday, 387 billion. American Express, 192 billion. Okay, all of these are market movers right there. All right, and let's take a look at the dollar. Uh, dollar uh, still in that uptrend, all right? I thought it would roll over here. It didn't. I thought it would roll over here. It didn't, all right? So uh, do not want to see dollar get up over this area right here, 103.54. Not looking for that to happen, but it might. Uh, like to see the dollar continue with that downtrend. So big, big move up on the dollar with that uh, right there. So we'll see what happens with that. So dollar was nice when it was in a downtrend, but uh, now it's in an uptrend here and still moving higher. I don't see any signs of giving up other than these dojis that got wiped out by green candles. So there we go there. All right, take a few look at a few sectors here. Start off with SMH. All right, SMH making higher lows, higher highs is in an uptrend. Okay, semiconductor XLK. Okay, technology making higher lows, higher highs in an uptrend. Okay, markets are on fire. Okay, let's take a look at XLI. XLI on Friday made a new all time high. XLI is in an uptrend. Take a look at XLU. XLU uh, still in an uptrend. All right, has it made any lower lows? Uh, just kind of having a pullback here, XLU. Let's take a look at XRT. Okay, still haven't made that higher high yet on XRT. I think it's coming. All right, I think it's coming. We'll see. That was a nice day on Friday. Was this today? Yeah, that's today. That was a nice day on Friday. Uh, need some follow through with that. I think the earnings will help give that some lift. All right, big bull flag here in XRT. All right, let's take a look at XLF. 
Here's financials, new all-time high on Friday, right there for the financials up over. All-time high anchored VWAP, you got the uptrend, and what do you get? A new all-time high, XLF. Excuse me, nice work there on XLF. Now the earnings come out, that could continue going. All right, so there's XLF. Last one, IYT. All right, IYT doing really good here. How high was that? All right, that high is 71.82. This high is 71.11. 71.16. Is that a new all time high? Bear with me. Yeah, I think we got a new all-time high. Yeah, we got a new all-time I, I just had to look. All right, so there's IYT putting in brand new all-time high on uh, transports. All right, now if... Transports are making new all-time highs, okay? This market's on fire, all right? Because the transports are telling us that uh, products getting sold off the shelf and having to be restocked on the shelf, all right? So that's huge. That tells us that, uh, you know, crane operators are moving around the country putting these cranes together, uh, Software tech people are moving around the country, uh, helping train um, other personnel in, in various companies uh, how to use the software. All of these things are, are working, all right? This is, this is really showing us the economy's on fire right here. When you see that, uh, new all-time highs in the transports, uh, folks, that's huge, all right? The only thing I don't like, uh, I just don't like that big candle. If it was just a, you know, if we climbed up there with a grind, I just don't like that big candle. Uh, nothing says it can't pull back and tag minor support and then bounce higher. Uh, but usually a big candle at the end of the move, uh, that's kind of spooky to me. All right, just a little spooky. So could get some pullback to minor support, make a new high. Anyways, breaking, making new all-time highs tells me uh, that the, the country's on fire with the economy. Everything's working great. Again, price action up over, all-time high anchored VWAP in an uptrend. We like that. That's super bullish. All right, so there's IYT. All right, traders, that's it for me for uh, this morning. I'll be back in 45 minutes and we'll kick off the market. Again, we're looking for a 10 minute uptrend where green erase is red. All right. And in the pre market, I think we pretty much got it. Looking for green erase is red. So this would be the red right here. Okay. So um, looking for price to move up over 580. Now, 580 is, um, how do I say it? It's a, it's a target for a lot of people, all right, for a lot of trade at retail, uh, getting the 580, all right? So we could see a, a little pullback to minor support down here, all right? And even a little bit lower, all right, because that's a target, all right? 600 will be the next target. Uh, but anyways, an uptrend, 10-minute uptrend over uh, this peak, this red right here. Right over these red candles, over 580.16, uh, that's that's an entry right there. Right over fi uh, 580.16 uh, is an entry to go higher. So there's SPY on the 10-minute chart. All right, so I'll see you guys. That's our entry for today. So that's a 10-minute uptrend over the pivot. All right, I'll see you guys in about 45 minutes. Uh, got some things to take care of around here. See if I can find a monitor. And uh, I came out well with the storm. I'm happy about that. I will uh, see you guys in 45 minutes and we'll kick off the market.